Hey Libras and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libras. Um, this will not resonate with everybody, so just please uh, put it where it fits and leave um, everything that does not resonate. So the King of Raj just flew out there, but I hadn't called for it, so we're putting it back. Could be dealing with a strong fire sign individual or somebody that has a lot of passion for you or you them. So Libras, let's see what you need to know in love today. What does Libra need to know in love, Spirit? Please and thank you. Thank you. All right. Be patient. <laughs> Um, put in the work to what it is you're wanting to manifest. Um, as long as you do the work and, and patiently wait, um, your dreams are about to manifest, Libra. Oh, well, speak of that. There's your dreams manifesting. Your wishes will come true. You are trying to manifest this relationship um, into your life, and it is here. The star is a, the div uh, divine timing for me. So it is in the works. Yeah, the energy coming towards you, the magician. Look at this, amazing. See what happens when you put the work in, Libra? That's awesome. Spirit's advice for this connection. The King of Pentacles. Nice, nice. Libras love that King of Pentacles energy. And the outcome of this connection. The Five of Wands. Let's get it. Whoa. All right. So your bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Cups and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So we'll start with your shared energy. Um, by you investing in your own happiness, your own joy, and realizing that no one else can make you happy, you have to be the one that does it you benefit greatly. You're um, really investing in your future. You could be taking classes. Um, you could be just doing a lot of soul work, a lot of deep um, work within yourself, but you are just radiating beauty and, you know, and you're just shining right now because you released all the fear. You released everything that was not meant for you, that was not good for you, and you really focused on yourself. You really put in the work to get to this Nine of Pentacles energy. And it's bringing a past life soulmate back into your life. Whether you've met them in this lifetime or not. This is somebody that you have been with in previous lifetimes. But you've really worked hard to gain this Nine of Pentacles energy. It did not come easy. But you really planted the seeds of intention. You have watered your garden. You have weeded your garden. And you're now ready for this to manifest. So let's see what the Seven of Pentacles is all about. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Libra? Yeah, you had to release a family situation that that wasn't growing, that wasn't moving forward, that you didn't see successful, and that was very hard for you. Um, it was very hard for you to release this energy because you put so much time and effort and love into it, but it just was not growing the way you met that you thought it should be so you released that you invested in yourself you were patient and you did the work and now here your wish is coming true the person that you've been wishing and hoping for or the situation is here for you why is the star here yep and they are here to offer you love they are here to extend their cup um in hopes that you can or will accept it it may not be a huge offer not one that you had not one, not as big as what you had thought or hoped, but they're messaging you, letting you know, I love you. I want to be with you. Um, can we manifest this? Can we bring this into um, existence? We have what it takes to make it work. Are we both willing to do it? And it looks like you are. Why is a magician here? The Knight of Rods. So you could be... Um, this is like somebody that you have so much passion for. This is somebody that could have been in and out of your life in the past. Very flighty, very 
um, you couldn't rely on them, but that's it's not going to be that way anymore because they're coming back as the magician. They could have been flighty and and non you know non-committal before, but they have now became the magician. They've gone through the lessons that they had to have, and they're returning ready to move forward because it has that eternal that affinity sign above their head. This is somebody who's meant to be in your life, Libras. Why is the King of Pentacles here as the advice? The Four of Swords. So Spirit's advice for you is to, um, to, to find your stability, which I do feel you're doing because you are the Nine of Pentacles there, but to remain stable, to remain grounded, to remain with your feet on the ground, even if your heads are in the clouds, make sure you are grounded. Make sure you stay connected to Source. Uh, make sure you take the time to rest and don't overdo it because your perfect vibrational match is coming in for you after this healing, after this rest, after that pause is um, taken, your queen is coming in for you, queen or king. Um, but most importantly, stay grounded, stay connected to source. Um, don't let this relationship take you into the clouds to where it becomes like um, dreamy, like, you know, like a fairy tale, but in a, in a way that one never comes true. You know, like, oh, that's such a fairy tale. But you have the opportunity to live this fairy tale as long as you stay grounded and connected to source. Your outcome. The internal conflict is going to go away. You've been worried. You've been concerned. But remain patient because it is coming in for you. This is also, you're going to have a lot of competition, a lot of people wanting your attention because you're vibrating so high. Beautiful energy. Um, you could be waiting for a Capricorn to come in. I do not see this as toxic or anything of that matter. This is somebody you are bonded to from a past life. This is a divine partner. Could be a Capricorn. Could be somewhere in their chart. But this is somebody that you have so much deep love, passion, and admiration for. The universe is putting the two of you back in each other's path. You had to take a separate path of healing. You had to get out of a family situation. And once you learn the lesson of love for self, it is now coming back in for you. You've learned the lessons you need to learn before your divine partner can return, and they're here for you. Your divine partner, um, your twin, however, your soulmate, however you want to, um, whatever you want to call it, it is here for you. Your perfect vibrational match. Um, so move into the path that you feel intuitively drawn to take because the time is now. Divine timing is here and you're about to manifest a beautiful connection um, with your soulmate, with the person you're meant to be with um, because you had the courage and the strength to let go of something that was not working anymore and you truly, truly found love for self and how to um, make yourself happy. That was a huge uh, le karmic lesson that you took to, or that you had to learn in this lifetime. And you most definitely did bringing in a new stable, loving commitment that you can build on and not worry about it crumbling or ending. So congratulations, Libra. Um, I do feel in the time of Leo, a lot of you are in that twin flame um, group that is coming into union. The next wave of twins coming together for this group of you Libras, if that resonated, you most definitely are in that wave. So congratulations, and I send you all my love and light. God bless.